Hey everybody out there. I want to start off by saying I really appreciate those that subscribe to my channel. If you didn't already subscribe to my channel, please do so. It helps me out a whole bunch. Today on Cajun Chef, we're making shrimp fettuccine. Just look at this. It looks amazing. You want to know how to make it? Let's go. I'll show you. All right, guys, first thing we're going to do is dice up some onions. This recipe calls for three onions diced, one bell pepper diced or chopped. Yeah, make sure you get all the inside of that bell pepper and chunk it out and then um, dice it up into small pieces. Then we want to go with three stalks of celery. I always cut the ends off and then dice it into small pieces. This one I actually cut into a little bit larger pieces than I wanted. So I took my knife and I passed over it uh, a few times to make it smaller. Three cloves of garlic, diced into small pieces, you'll, you'll see. Um, you'll see everything when I add it. And here I am dicing the, the garlic. So here's the garlic, the onions, the bell peppers, and the celery. It's the perfect mixture of a Cajun dish. Now I'm dicing up into one inch pieces a one pound of Velveeta cheese softened. Now I'm adding three sticks of butter. Turn the heat on until it looks like this. All the butter is completely melted. Now it's time to add the ingredients. You want to add the onions the bell peppers and the celery then the garlic what you want to do once they're added is you want to turn the heat to medium between medium medium high like you see on the top top right hand corner of the screen um, it takes a little while for this much um, stuff to get hot and start uh, simmering I add it this is all seasoned to taste folks so um, I don't have exact measurements as far as the pepper I added garlic powder, black pepper, and this is Nunu's seasoning. What it is is it's a it's it's like it's a mixture of it has paprika, it has red pepper, it has salt. It's a, it's one of those season all type things. I love it. I put it in almost everything I use. Uh, it's great. So we're gonna keep stirring. What you want to do is you want to stir this until. Um, the vegetables get wilted or the onion should become translucent You know the the veggies are gonna be soft Almost like this when it gets to this stage. I like to put a pot of water boiling as you see on the top I'm actually cooking the fettuccine noodles So what you need is you need 16 ounces like one pound package of fettuccine noodles and you want to boil those uh, Follow the instructions on the package. I think you have to boil them for um 11 to 12 minutes uh, and then drain but you do need you need one pound of fettuccine noodles cooked and drained once the vegetables uh, in your in your pot become wilted now it's time to add the shrimp what you want to do is you want to add the shrimp and cook the shrimp until they turn pink and guys I wish you could be here because that's not steam that's like smell good vapor coming straight out of the pot. It's amazing. And uh, <laughs> I just can't describe it. There's something about the onions, bell peppers, and celery, and garlic. And I think the butter has a little bit to do with it as well. Anyway, it's you can tell it's starting to get, and you'll see here in a minute the color I'm talking about. Up right about like this. Now you add one can of cream of mushroom soup and it will come out eventually get out of there thank you alright get all the rest of it out of there stir it in it stirs in quite nicely once you add the soup you want to simmer for another 10 minutes um, I skipped this part but you want to stir 10 minutes continuously because the cream of mushroom soup is thicker it will stick to the bottom of the pot and you don't want that to happen. 
Right, so cover it and wait until your noodles are ready. Um, drain. I uncovered it now. You can see it's still on a low, low heat. Uh, and this is looking really good. It's coming along well. Next thing you're going to add is the cheese. So again, this is that pound of Velveeta cheese that you cut into one inch blocks. Add a little bit more, a little bit less. It doesn't really matter. It's all going to melt. One pint of half and half. Um, once this is added, you want to stir. You want to bring it back up to a, a simmer. You want to make sure it gets up to a simmer and then let it cook for a half an hour, stirring occasionally. You don't have to stir constantly here um, because the pint, the half and half and the cheese, is, it, it makes it a lot more liquidy. So it should not stick to the bottom. Once it's simmered for a half an hour, now it's time to add the noodles. You're just basically, you're adding the noodles in the pot to mix it. So you're not, you're not cooking the noodles in the pot. Yeah, so if you don't have a 13 by nine casserole dish, uh, ready to go or at all you can use um, a little bit bigger than a 13 by 9 baking pan because I find the the edges are shallow I use the larger I don't know the exact measurement of this pan but it's bigger than a 13 by 9 and I laid the I laid aluminum foil on the bottom and I poured the mixture into it a casserole dish 13 by 9 inch casserole dish will fill up almost perfectly um, since I didn't have the casserole dish that had the cover I covered mine with aluminum foil, bake at 350 degrees for 30 minutes, and when you, you, you pull out a piece of heaven whenever you take it out of the oven. Uh, here's me serving it, and, <laughs> and this is what it looks like. The shrimp are absolutely amazing. The sauce is so creamy and rich. It's really, really good for parties or entertaining. Yeah, if you guys wanna see any more uh, cooking videos be sure to subscribe to my channel I appreciate it have a great day